how to send USDT on the Tron network. I'll show you from a centralized exchange first. So if you have Binance or any other centralized exchange, you may have some US dollar tether on there. So go to withdraw crypto. And then from here, we need to choose the network, which is Tron, and we need a Tron network address. So from here, we're gonna press send to network, and then you need Tron TRC20. So we choose that. And then from here, we also need an address. So we need to go over to a wallet or another exchange and get the Tron network address from there. I'll show you on Trust Wallet. So we haven't got any USDT here right now. So in the top right, I'll click plus and then USDT. But from here, we need to choose the Tron network. So as you can see, you can scroll down and we can choose the network that we want to receive it on, Tron. And then this is it because each network has a different address. If you send it to the wrong address, it won't be on the Tron network. So I can now go back. I see this right here and I can get a deposit address. I'm gonna press receive. This is the USDT network address for the Tron network. If you're sending to another centralized exchange, you just need to get the Tron network address for that account as well. So on another exchange, you would press deposit and you would select USDT to deposit. And it says select the deposit network you need the Tron network here. You need to send and receive on the same network. So I'll press next here. And right here, this is the USDT address for the Tron network. If you go to any other exchange, press deposit, and then choose the network as Tron TRC20. And this is the address right here. You should see that every Tron address actually starts with T and then has the address after. Now that we have the Tron deposit address, we can go and withdraw that from our exchange or our wallet where we have the USDT. So I'll paste in the address that I'm sending to, make sure to select TRC20, the Tron network, and then you can withdraw any amount that you want and press withdraw. Now for an exchange, you're gonna be paying a network fee of around a dollar for that transaction. If you're sending USDT to a wallet that you own that isn't an exchange, for example, Trust Wallet or Coinbase Wallet, then in order to actually send around the USDT, you're going to have to pay gas on the Tron network. Gas is paid in the TRX coin. So if you have Tether and you can't send it around, you'll need to go ahead and buy some TRX and then withdraw that into your wallet as well. So you can add that coin by going up to the top, clicking TRX. This is the gas coin of the Tron network. Click this, press receive. This is the address for the TRX coin that you need to pay for gas in order to send around Tether on the Tron network. You can go back to your exchange and buy this. So right here, I've got Tron TRX. I can make sure that I put my receive address in. I can send it on the TRX or Tron network, TRC20, and then withdraw an amount. You only need a small amount, but you do need that to pay for gas to send around Tether on the Tron network. I'll leave some links below to some more in-depth tutorials and some exchange bonus links if you need to sign up for an exchange. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.